The controversial high-speed railway line proposed between Lyon and Turin has returned to the centre of Italy's political debate. A new tunnel being built on the western side of the Alps from now until 2029 is dividing opinion amongst the new Italian coalition government. Far-right party Liga No is in favour, but Five Star Movements is against the project. There have been four international agreements between Italy and France regarding the rail line, the first ones dating back to 1996. At the last Italy-France summit, former Italian Prime Minister Paolo Gentiloni was reassured by French President Emmanuel Macron about France's commitment to the tunnel's construction. The base tunnels of mont and two stations of Susa and saint jean de Maurienne represent the high-speed railway line, which is 65 kilometres long, 45 kilometres in France and 12.5 on the Italian side. The cost of the cross-border section is more than 8.5 billion euros. The 40% of the total amount is co-financed by the European Union. The rest between Italy of 35% and France with 25. A number of protests have taken place in Italy against the project, with many unhappy about the construction's high costs and environmental impacts. The movements have adopted the acronym No TAV, which stands for Treni Alta Velocita, Italian for High Speed Railway. Around 4 million lorries a year cross the Po Valley. It's hoped the Turin Leon Rail Passage can reduce pollution and relieve congestion on the motorways. The European Commission estimates the project will support economic growth at regional and local level, with around 15,000 jobs being created in businesses and in tourism.